8 o'clock on Sunday, and we are going to keep this live look up as we are waiting any second now because we do not want to miss this implosion. It's a big moment, but let's hear from KVU's Kaylin Norwood, who is standing by live near the implosion. And Kaylin, any word on if this is going to go on time? Because it is 8 o'clock on the dot right now, Kaylin. Well, that's right, Jenny, and I just want to let you know I don't want to get the shot just in case it does go down any moment now. Now the fire chief, you probably heard him there. He just said that it is expected to implode in about one minute, so they're just shy from that 8 o'clock start time. So it's 10-story it's building, so we'll, we'll definitely notice it. All right, and of course, this is at 601 Colorado Street. This building built in 1974 originally as administrative offices for the UT system and Caitlin, of course, being torn down for a new office tower. Is that right? Is that what you're hearing? Yeah, we're hearing that it will be a new building that will take its place shortly. But I mean, again, this implosion is going to take, I mean, just a few seconds, maybe only 12 seconds, they told me, and uh, then they'll try to clear the air. Oh, they're now counting oh. down from five seconds. Okay, let's listen it. I mean, I, that's pretty much all I can say right now. There's a huge crowd behind us, and they're all cheering. I mean, you could just feel the energy. It's it's kind of exhilarating. It's probably the best way to explain it. But uh, that building, that 10-story building that we all just saw that was up there, is now gone. That building is history. So, I mean, there is a new building that is going to be set to take place here. And, I mean, you can just see the kind of smoke and debris in the area. That's why they have everyone back so far, just in case any Thing did shoot off. And again, this is the area of 6th and Colorado where that implosion took place. And guys, I mean, you probably saw it. It was an amazing thing to watch. And let's go ahead and take that live. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's keep the live shot up. It took only 10 to 12 seconds for that 10 story building to go down. But Kaylin, as the battalion chief Palmer Buck was telling you, it took a lot longer to plan this implosion, right? Let's what did he tell you exactly? I mean, they were planning quite a bit for an event of this magnitude. It's really because of those safety precautions. They just wanted to make sure that everyone was in a safe distance to watch this because they did know that this was going to be some sort of an attraction that would draw a lot of people. I mean, I told you earlier, I mean, you can see people on their roofs or in their hotel rooms all looking out of their window this morning just to catch a glimpse of this implosion. So they knew that this was likely going to happen. So they have everything roped off for about a three block radius just to make sure everyone can stay safe and I mean watch something that they likely many people have never seen before. Right. Hey, and if you're just joining us now here on KB Weekend Daybreak, do not be alarmed. This implosion, this explosion meant to happen, right? In light of the recent explosions that have been uh, happening, that have happened in the past three weeks. This one meant to happen. This one scheduled to happen at uh, just a few minutes ago. It only took a few seconds to happen at 601 Colorado. This implosion of the UT system, Ashbell Smith building, meant to happen. Don't be alarmed. This one, authorities meant for it to go down of the 10-story building in the middle of downtown. Uh, don't go outside. As you can see, lots of debris and dust still in the air will be in the air for quite some time. That's why uh, fire, the fire department, the Austin Police Department have blocked off this three block radius, uh, 5th to 8th Street, Congress to Guadalupe. Don't go outside. They don't want anyone near this area. Kaylin, do you know how long this area will be blocked off this morning? I mean, yeah, you can just see a lot of the smoke and debris. I mean, it's likely going to last for quite a bit. Uh, when I spoke to one of the police officers here, he said that it's likely going to be blocked off for about a couple more hours. So hopefully around 10 o'clock, people will start to see those roads reopen and they can get access through this area again. 
a successful implosion at 601 Colorado Street as the Ash Bell Smith building came crumbling down. It was awesome uh, as a fan of implosions. And unlike the one in Detroit we saw months ago where we sat here live and that building did not go down the stadium there, this one came crashing down as it was supposed to on top of itself. Uh, it, it was quite a sight. Kaylin, I mean, it went down. It felt like less than 10 seconds, didn't it? That was not 10 to 12 seconds. It felt like a lot less time than the expected 10 to 12 seconds. As you can see, I mean, it's clearing up now a little bit, but I feel like the uh, atmosphere there is going to be clouded for quite some time. If you are just joining us, joining us here on KVU uh, Weekend Daybreak, the Ash Bell Smith building at 601. Uh, Colorado Street was just imploded. So authorities have uh, just blocked off that area just avoid downtown for quite a while. So yeah, and we don't know how long that smoke and debris will stick around and just please avoid that area. Authorities have closed off 5th or 8th Street. Uh, there we go. Just see that three block area that 5th to 8th Street uh, Congress Colorado. So if y'all can just, if people can just avoid that area as cleanup will begin shortly. And Caitlin Norwood is downtown live and she will get a reaction to this for us. We appreciate the live report as the Ashbell Smith building is no more. They will now build a new uh, office tower in its place. So the 1974 administrative offices for the UT system is no more.